climate change is impacting all continents, particularly also the water-scarce Arab region. Left unchecked, the situation will worsen, yet action can be taken. Adaptation will be essential to establish the resilience needed to cope with the changes ahead and to lessen its effects. To achieve this goal, international, regional and ministerial entities established the AQUAM program to coordinate climate change adaptation efforts. The GIZ implemented this program in close cooperation with local partners who found various ways to adapt creatively to climate change impacts. The farmers in the Nile Delta face a scarcity of fresh water in contrast to a growing demand. Higher temperatures due to climate change aggravate this problem. The Ministry of Water Resources and Irrigation has identified the reuse of agricultural drainage water as one of the most promising options to cover the growing water demand. That is why Aquam provided a mobile pumping unit to the water authorities in Mamoudia, Behera, for testing the controlled mixing of drainage water with fresh water on the branch canal level to complement or even substitute mixing on main canal levels. The pilot project has shown that it is an effective instrument to overcome water shortages and to enlarge irrigation water volumes and thus strengthen the resilience of farmers to the impacts of climate change. In addition, regular water quality monitoring addresses concerns over soil and water salinization and over food safety, important issues when mixing drainage water with fresh irrigation water. The mobile pump has also been found useful in reducing the harm floods cause in the area through the discharge of excess water in high-order drains. However, experience has clearly shown that institutional arrangements still need to be optimized for smooth operation, more empowerment of farmers' organizations and decentralized institutional setups are required for promoting the reuse of drainage water. Also in Jordan, farmers now suffer from water supply problems. During the last two decades, the already critical situation was aggravated. The Azraq Basin is located in the northeastern part of Jordan. Until the early 1990s, its center was covered by wetlands. Excessive groundwater extraction to supply big cities like Amman, Irbid and Zarqa with drinking water, as well as to sustain farming in the basin, dried the wetlands out. The process of sinking groundwater tables was aggravated by a severe drought and a general rise in temperature, both related to climate change. After ending the groundwater extraction for urban areas, farming was extended far beyond a sustainable level. Aquam was therefore exploring the option of preventing the expansion of irrigated agriculture in the Azraq Basin by offering an alternative source of income, solar energy. So-called solar farming offers a new source of income to farmers without further lowering the groundwater table of the Azraq aquifer. And in addition to that, it generates electricity, which is in high demand in Jordan due to population growth, economic development and climate change impacts. Solar energy farming will ease Jordan's heavy dependence on fossil fuel and gas imports and hence prevent the emission of large amounts of greenhouse gases. Shifting from conventional agriculture to solar energy generation will not completely solve the groundwater problems of the basin, but it would contribute to a reduction of water abstraction. In a survey, 17 of 30 farmers in the Azraq Basin were willing to change to solar farming, but they lack technical and financial support. There are uncertainties since the amortization period for investments can run for about 20 years. The feasibility study is proof of the great potential of solar farming for the whole region, although significant legal and administrative hurdles still need to be overcome. Solar energy farming can be successfully implemented, but this requires the attention of all ministries involved. This is a development challenge where all partners are required to cooperate and to break new ground.
Lebanon is witnessing signs of decreasing precipitation and increasing drought and desertification as a result of climate change. Beirut, for example, suffers from water scarcity during the summer months. The city is also affected by seawater intrusion due to overpumping of the local aquifers. Due to high salinity, the groundwater has limited use for domestic, industrial or agricultural purposes. In order to explore the opportunities to stop further seawater intrusion into the local aquifer in Hazmir, Beirut area, Aquam contracted a feasibility study on managed aquifer recharge as an integrated water resources management approach. A holistic approach such as integrated water resources management holds the promise to curb seawater intrusion and to contribute to sustainable water management. It manages water demand by raising awareness, reducing water losses and increasing efficiencies. Secondly, it manages water supply, which encompasses major projects such as dam construction, as well as small-scale local measures such as rainwater harvesting, use of treated wastewater and others. And it is crucial to support legal, policy and administrative actions. Therefore, a project feasibility study was commissioned. It revealed that there are a number of measures and techniques available for reducing groundwater abstraction and implementing managed aquifer recharge when applying the integrated water resources management approach to tackle this problem, a holistic policy that gives equal emphasis to water quantity and to water quality aspects. The three pilot measures were innovative and ambitious. They were planned in close cooperation with local or national partners and they all reflect the readiness of many authorities to cooperate for a better future for the region. The experience gathered with these pilot projects is now ready for dissemination in order that other stakeholders in the region may gain an improved understanding and develop adaptation measures themselves. The Arab water institutions, with support of regional and international organizations, are spreading the knowledge on climate change mitigation and adaptation options, which need to be scientifically proven, demand-driven and economically feasible. Climate change is a huge challenge for the water-scarce Arab region. Left unchecked, the situation will worsen. The pilot measures showed effective actions can be taken and will make a difference.